Hello there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez, Microsoft 365 MVP. Welcome to a new video about SharePoint Premium Features. In this video, I'm going to talk about merge and extract PDF files in Microsoft Syntax or SharePoint Premium. This is a feature that is available, as you can see in this page, um, on a per user licensing mode or pay as you go. So, what's this feature about? Well, you can't when, uh, enable, enable the pay as you go uh, for SharePoint Premium or you have a uh, per user licensing. You can uh, simply on SharePoint sites or, or in Wonderful Business just have the ability to merge different PDF files into a new PDF file. So the only thing you need to do is just to um, open a file and then using the file viewer, you are going to see the merge option. And uh, once you click that option, you are going to be asked to select the files you want to merge. And SharePoint Premium is going to generate a PDF file. Take into account that uh, you could get errors when doing this process because either um, the PDF file is too heavy for SharePoint Premium to work with, or maybe it's too complex to do this merge. I will show you that this may happen. And the other feature that is available is obviously extract PDF files. That means that for a specific file, you open with a, a file viewer in Microsoft 365 that is available across the different uh, Microsoft 365 applications. You have the possibility to extract pages you want in different files. So let's take a look at in action to this feature. So here I am in and a SharePoint demo environment. And uh, what I'm going to do is just to uh, work with uh, one PDF file I have, in, I have in here. And first of all, I'm going to extract uh, pages from that PDF file. So before doing that, I'm going to uh, delete information in here that is not required anymore. This is coming from my previous tests, as you can see here. So I'm going to delete these files in here. Let's do that. And I'm going to open this. It's not about AI, it's about trust. So I'm going to open the file. The file is open in the file viewer, the universal file viewer. As you can see here, I have two specific actions to do the merge operation with PDF pages or start PDF pages and make any PDF. So I'm going to, first of all, start PDF pages and generate a new PDF file. So as you can see here, as soon as you do that, with SharePoint Premier, you're going to see different pages that are part of this PDF file. So in this case, I'm going to start these three pages and I'm going to click on Start. Then I'm going, uh, uh, I'm going to be asked to save the file with a name. So in this case, this is very Easy name, this is number one file extracted. And now I'm going to start the other three pages from the PDF file. So I'm going to click again in the same action, the start option or action, and I'm going to select the last three pages in the document. And again, I'm going to click on start and I'm going to name the file number two. And I'm going to click on save. Now let me show you an error that may happen depending on the nature of the file. First of all, let's refresh the document library. Here are my two started, my two generated PDF file by extracting three pages of this document. And let me remove remove also this file in here. And let's open this ebook pro provided by Microsoft. And let's try to uh, do the same stacked operation. This is a heavy file. It's three something max. And I'm going to select here. I want, I want just to start two pages. As you can see, this is a, a more complex a PDF file. And I'm going to click on Start. And let's click on Save here. And let's see what is going to happen. Well, as you can see here, we are having an error. I don't have an exact idea what's happening behind the scenes. I can only figure out that maybe the, either the file 
is too heavy for the processing or too complex. But something is not working properly, so be careful with that and uh, with meeting your expectations regarding this feature. Anyway, since we, are, we have a file that is simple, uh, we can see how extract and merge work. work. So in this case, I'm going to, sorry, no, I don't want to do this. I'm going to open one of the files I generated by extracting three pages from the original file. So in this case, indeed, I have four. I don't remember why. And what I want to do now is just to do a merge. So in this case, to do a merge, you can select as many files as you wish. Oh, something is strange in here, in my opinion. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I can select this number two file. As you can see here, you can change the order at any point. That's not a problem. You can add more files. And then when you are ready, you can click on Nest. Then you are going to be asked, in this case, to save the new file. Save here. It's going to work perfectly. And you can open directly the result from the this uh, notification setting. And as you can see here, I have my new PDF file that in this case is seven pages long. Cool. So it works as expected with simple files with not a lot of pages extracted, no complex structure. The merge feature in SharePoint Premium works as expected. And that's all what I wanted to tell you today. I hope uh, you have found this video useful. And uh, yeah, I encourage you to try as soon as you can, if you are interested in making use of this particular SharePoint Premium feature. And of course, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more videos about SharePoint Premium coming to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.